Hey yo together and very welcome to the Stark of 2 Crazy Replay! Woo! Today on Dalsir Vestige, Vestige, Letter Edition, Void, with a TVP, which I just recently played. And in this game I wanted to try out a different approach to the current TVP Adept Phoenix meta game. And I did it, and it was a fun game. I don't know if it's viable in higher leagues, but at least up onto, onto my league it is possible to play this style. I had no build order, no fixed build order, no transition I have to say, so this can be bad, but maybe the unit composition can work, we will see. In the bottom le right hand side, the blue Protoss Axel ITL. No, Axel TL, sorry. Axel TL. And in the top left hand side, Red Terror Me, Alex Sasha. So we have Pylon, Gate, Gas, probably Nexus. And one Probe Scout. Goes in, goes out, everything fine. Yep, there comes the Nexus. Bye. Warping a Nexus. Building. Warp Rift, I think this is a Warp Rift. Looking really cool. Hmm. Cybernetics Core, a Simulator. And for me, Reaper Command Center. Also nice. So this probe scouting around a little bit, which is totally fine. We can and should do this, I think. And we will see how this goes. Ah, Reaper, SCV, prop. I like the soundtrack from StarCraft 2. Those are really good. So he goes in, scouts a little bit, goes out again. The Reaper comes in. <laughs> nice. Very nice. <laughs> Just to screw him up, throw in a grenade, be annoying. No probe here to kill or harass. There's one probe I could harass. This probe worships the Xelnara Watchtower. Oh, my Tixenaga Watchtower. Please, do your thing. Reaper gets not killed. Oh, nice. So I will get a scout off and see it's a Stargate play. Interesting. As I said, I don't... Ah, I might even get a... Oh, so close. A probe kill. So he gets a robotics facility and I didn't see it. Because now I'm doing something which will never work against the Robo. But I tried it. As I said, I don't have a fixed build order for this kind of style. I just tried out something. Uh, I could have gone for gas first, Vitamine drop, try to deal damage and so on. But I didn't do it. Instead, I'm trying to use Cloak Banji, <laughs> which is interesting, but he has a robotics. So if he goes for, for an Observer, with the Phoenix, then there is no way for, for the for, for the Banshee to deal any damage. I have seen it uh, by pros. Some professional player used this tactic uh, and dealt lots of damage, up to 20 probe kills with the Banshee. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> Observer, what should I do? And he still has this worshipping probe helping him out. And he will see potentially the Banshee. I never cleared this, which is bad, but that's how it is. Second Benji on the way will at least kill one probe, but other than that, second observer on the way, that's his first one. It is right here. Now he sees it, it's with his army. Three Phoenix, cloak not ready, needs 15 more seconds. 
10 more seconds. And he should see it with the observer now at least. He does see it. And even if I would have had cloak right now. Dead. At least I cancelled the second banshee and went for a raven instead now. It's unlikely for him to have uh, DTs. This would be very strange. But having a raven is okay. Then you have the starport on attack lab. With the strength the raven has currently, it's almost never bad to go up for at least one raven. Go hunt some observer. It can work. It can help you. So his expansion is a little bit faster than mine. And there he goes with the phoenix. He could deal some damage. Ooh! <laughs> so he killed one SCV for one phoenix. Not a good trade. And he took some damage on his phoenix as well. That's bad. So he might uh, look for an opening right here soon. It's like with the, the same with uh, Mutalisks. Only that those are a little bit stronger I would say. And faster. Strong is the, f the, the wrong word. They, they have different different uh, different strengths and weaknesses but in terms of harassment I, I think mutalisk are better because they also can attack for example reactor attack labs and such or take on turrets if you want to potentially so I'm not sure if you saw the raven but if he did uh, he got nice vision you can see I'm I'm playing completely blind and he got everything. He's out on the map, got the watchtower, got the got the observer here. This is looking really good for him. He's 10 probes ahead. He's still going for adapts. He has one four should go for a second one soon, I guess. Mm, yep. This is what he should do. Also take the gases ASAP. Never wait with your gases as Protoss, you need the gases. Unless you're playing something like only salads. But, no. And there we go, Thor. And look at that, one volley deals so much damage. It's 4 attacks, 12 damage each. They do have no armor, so this is for each 48 damage. Yeah, with one volley. So he dealt some damage here, but took some damage himself as well. So this is my approach. Thor. Thor also are good against Adepts because Adepts don't deal too much damage to them. They have some weak HP pool compared to the Ultralis for example and the armor is lossable low. Uh, Thor should have like 2 or 3 armor in my opinion. Maybe that would be broken against Bio but it's a Thor. Whatever. It only has one armor like everything out of the uh, factory not the cyclone and uh, not not the hellion and the widow mine but still it's laughable like how low this armor is but at least it's, uh, the dps is good the damage is good the range is super good here goes L look at that bam i guess you lost another phoenix there and the thor are good they are tanky they are powerhouse And now we hit a very interesting phase of the game. He's going for Immortal and Immortal are good against Thor. Head on, I think the Thor wins against the new Immortal. New in, in my, I mean, it's one year old, but the legacy of the White Immortal is a barrier. But it's not head on. The Thor will prioritize most likely the Adepts, while the Immortal will most likely attack the Thor. So here we go, PDD goes down, does, does nothing. The Thor attacking the mothership core here. Uh, I'm coming from behind with a small portion of marines, which now get lifted. And can I can I save those two Thor? Oh, this is so close. It looks like I might lose the medivacs, but I can... Yeah, the, the Thor are dealing good damage, look at that. It's, it's not looking too impressive. 
But trade-wise, gas-wise, it's good for me. And I only need gas for Medivax and Thor. The rest is pure marine. And repair, yeah. But but it's it's okay. But he saved his his immortal and some phoenix. This this fight I should have taken better. Maybe maybe the Thor they got some upgrade. Uh, some buff with the splash radius of their javelin missiles. Those things. But those seem to work only against Mutalisk, not against Phoenix, because I think Phoenix have a bigger hitbox and this um, magic box better. But I'm not sure about this. Uh, there comes a big attack. I'm not sure about this. Look at that. The Thor dealing great damage here. There's a bunker and all those adepts get killed. He come, He's coming back. Uh, gets the Thor with the Immortal now. That's nice. But needs to pull back. There comes a drop from behind. Looking very bad for me. What is my army currently? 30 marines, 1 Thor, 2 Vitamines? Again, he has 6 Immortal and still going. And still Phoenixes. Double Robo, more gateways, 4th base on the way. Interestingly, I took this base. Mm, SCV count is a little bit too high. Look at that. This is so bad. Where's my 4th base? 9 minute mark. Should have taken it already. But it looks like I'm taking his 5th base as my 4th base. <laughs> Very interesting. So I could attack right... Oh, this is nice. This cannon is so good bumped in here. I like this. I like this a lot. That That's nice. So here comes another attack. And you see the Thor... De de ah, so indecisive. No, from both sides. But saving the Thor. You can micro really nicely here. Will I be able to save at least one Thor? It's so close! Drop it! Wow! Mm, Supply-wise it's looking really good. If you would just attack right now, right here, that would be game. Here's charge slots, upgrade 003 against 02 here and I don't have any marines out. I'm producing 50 marines but I assume I am on 2-2 currently. Yeah. He could have won right here. Now one bunker and one breach Thor is nothing against that many immortal. But he was scared, so if you if you play this kind of style, I think it's really difficult to pull off. Maybe you need to mix in some mines or tanks, but then you can also play mech. And then he will play Tempest and then you should play Sky Terran. Oh nice little mine attack there. Yeah. And he is attacking right here with the salads, charge lords, dealing a lot of damage, being very nasty. But they are not doing too much here, getting clean. Still 50 marines at a time, that's some good production. Uh, which means I should be on 8 racks, yeah, looks good. He's still not attacking. His window of opportunity was there, he just didn't quite use it, sadly. But it's okay, it's okay. Looks like I'm trying to go for a draw, but he has a watchtower and he definitely sees that Phoenix on the way to intercept. The problem is with the Thor, it's more difficult to intercept those those drops. But I'm not dropping. I want to clear the salad. Very strange ch uh, chess moves here. But it's okay, it's working. For him it's working. The upgrades are looking even, I would say. It's okay. I don't have those gases. You know what would be awesome? Ghost. But I don't have those. I, I have the money, but I don't have ghost. I should go up to 10 barracks, so I can produce 3 ghosts at a time. Oh, <laughs> this bunker is so close! Uh, pulling everything here is bad. Stimming those marines is okay, I would say. Unnecessary, but okay. And uh, yeah, 400 minerals, down the toilet again, more salads, immortal, and void race now, okay. More Thor for me, finally, starboards, and... Ah, Ghost Academy as well, it's the fusion core. I need more gas. I need more gas. If I want to pull this off, I need more gas. I'm so hungry. Oh, I'm so hungry. 
Help! Send, send, burger and chicken nuggets. Help! <laughs> this drop! Uh, so glad I can be having those, this, this tower. Ah, uh, it's not getting anything here. Losing one Phoenix and another one and two now! Whoa! Okay, but this flank maneuver is really good now. Potentially killing all those. Oh, load up! No! No! So those medics are dead. Those are so dead. Not unloading properly as well, causing a lot of damage to me. I don't have Liberator out yet. Oh, very nice drums and feedbacks. And I need to turn back here. Let's have a look at the damage. Yeah, I'm not really playing cost effective here at all. And he is on five bases, I am on five bases, so the map is split now. But I have better mining. His gas mining is better on the other hand. I, sh I, I should have had one sensor turret here, like I have one here with turrets, this is good. Oversaturated, small attack. He's losing something here, but it's not too bad. Yeah, I need a sensor turret here. Without the sensor turret, I always need to scan or have marines here and there. And the scan only lasts for 9 seconds, so that's laughably short. It's long at one hand, but on the other hand. I have some. I have a good bang, I need more gas. He doesn't have too many Phoenix left. Four with a fifth one coming. He's maxed now, so he doesn't have many Phoenix to kill upcoming Liberator, which I have two on uh, on the field and four more coming up. And of course the Advanced Ballistics, one of the most hated upgrade in the game, still in the game. And he's going for the Fleet Beacon, probably for Tempest, could also be for Carrier. Uh, Tempest are good against Liberator, not so good against uh, Thor and Marines anymore because of the reduced range. I think they have a range of uh, 8, most 10. Six? I don't know. But it was reduced, it's not 13 or 15 anymore on the ground. Maybe it's 10. Maybe it's 6, I don't know actually. But we will see if he produces Tempest. There we go. Big attack, liberation zones, one ghost. Get some good MP on the salads, which is not the best MP. Normally you want to hit the, the High Templar, which I can't really get. I don't have any ghost left here as it looks like. The Marines are in the back, the Thor holding strong, but the Liberator died so far but he can't push into this with the Liberator and yeah the Phoenix are good against the Liberator but the Thor is good against the Phoenix so he loses those against the Thor look at the damage bum, 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 bum. so strong controlling a Thor must be real fun not as much fun as, as uh, using the Odin but still the Thor is, is a good unit I think ha being in a siege tank would be nice as well. Battle cruiser, not not too much. I mean, it's awesome, but the unit sucks. But being in a tank, tank is cool. And as an immortal, as an immortal, you feel like a real powerhouse, like an immortal. <laughs> Still, the map is evenly divided. Ah, oh, pick attack again. The liberation zones. He got lots of stock of his fling, so he can take on this fight. Very good storm, killing a lot of stuff here. In this fight, he wins superbly. But can he push into this? No. Bye bye, Archon. <laughs> oh, Liberators. Yeah, he needs Tempest. He's going for an. Oh, it was a pilot? Wait, doesn't he have a fleet beacon? He has a fleet beacon. But he's not going for Tempest, he's going for Void Race. Ah, he doesn't have the bank nor the mining left to do so. Yeah, he is oversaturated there, heavily oversaturated there, never took this space. This is a huge problem for him. I do have more mining left. I, I wonder how this is working, but... Mm, now it's crucial. This map is soon mined out completely. <laughs> so many Liberator. I got only five, but this is looking scary already. Still no watchtower uh, 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 sensor turret here. Another scan. That's the problem. He's transitioning into lots of star raids, but he can't support them with the income he has. That's a problem. Oh, the liberator! Mm, they don't have good upgrades, but it's good enough. EMP! Oh, nice! 
right on top of this very good storm oh nice storms here oh this storm was super good oh no but he is fighting under liberation zones and this is one thing you can't do you can't do this look at that this is game fighting there last ditch effort that's that's game it has to be game here's some storms left I don't know how he wants to win this uh, the Void Rain dealing some good damage here, but now Liberator are here, dealing 6 damage, he has 1 armor, setting up those Liberator is crucial mistake, as some of them will get killed. Uh, nice focus fight with the Marines. He still holds strong, tries to go for Storms or Archons. I don't have any Medivacs left. Ah, he doesn't see those units. Ah, Dark Templar, this can work out. I don't know when he got the Dark Templar Shrine, but... Here we go, scan. He tries it, Void Ray. Not killing the Liberator, no! Ah, good flank from behind. Nice move with the Stalker, will it be enough? He does have some storms left. He should use the storm right here. But he's so carefully not using them. But he might just lose the High Templar now. He needs to use the Storm. Uh, loses one High Templar, loses the second one. And the Archon, that's... That, yeah, that's GG. And that's game. Okay, thank you so much for watching. That was a fun game, I hope so. I wish you as always a very nice day and goodbye. Hey oh there, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions, put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day. Take care. Bye bye.